So you've reformatted your hard drive. If you watched our segment a couple of days ago, we showed you how to reinstall Windows. It's a good thing to do for spring cleaning, spring cleaning periodically, uh, or you got a brand new computer. But then you've got basically a vanilla system. It's the way Microsoft wanted it to be, or the way it came from the factory. There are more things to do, and we thought we'd make a whole other segment on what I think you should do after you get that new computer all clean and spotless. Now, the first thing I'd like you to do is back up your system. Now, if you got a new computer, it probably came with a system restore disk. That's essentially a backup of the way it is right now. If you did a new install, make a backup because you're going to want you want to be able to go back to the beginning and do this again. It saves a lot of time the next time you want to do a fresh install. We have a protocol, here it is, that uh, Chris Krauss uses for setting up our computers. We actually have put this on the web, um, and uh, you can read it on the web, minus the serial numbers which are in there, which I'm not going to show you, <laughs> for all the software that we install. If you're curious about how we get our computers the way I like them, let me show you a couple of things you should do. This is a brand, let's assume this is a brand new computer, just came home, from the factory or you just did a fresh install, the very first thing you do after you back this up, remember, is to go to Windows Update. Now that's always going to be in the Start menu. It'll probably be the first thing in your Start menu, Windows Update. You go to Windows Update and you let Microsoft check your computer to see if there are newer versions of any of the things you have on there. And unless you have, and it's unlikely, the very latest, greatest software, there will be some updates. Click the Product Updates button. There are a couple of different levels of product updates. There's the critical updates, which they say you have to have. Let's click that button. Oh, did we turn off Java or something on here? There it goes. There's the critical updates, which they say, oh, now, by the way, this is what you'll see. You say, it's got to install a little bit of software here. It says, uh, I need to install some software, so I, the Windows Update Control, so I can, f and I always say, yeah, I can trust Microsoft. That's as far as I can throw them. So, <laughs> Click on that button, and uh, the Windows Update software will, it's literally going to check your system. It's going to look at all the Windows software, make sure you have the latest versions, and if you don't, it's going to give you recommendations. As I said, there's a number of different levels. There's the critical updates, the recommended updates, and then there's just kind of frivolous updates. Absolutely install the critical updates. Those almost always include security updates that are very important for keeping your machine safe online, and fixes to known bugs. And look, here we have the critical updates package. You're going to want to download that. And then the picks of the month. This is usually stuff you don't need. I would recommend upgrading your browser, and this is where you would do that. If you do this, you'll have to do it in two steps. It's the only thing you can do. You only do one thing at a time. Uh, I do recommend installing Keeping Windows Up to Date automatically. That is a, a very handy feature of Windows ME, but Windows 98 also has a special feature to allow you to do that. And recommended updates, most of the time you do want these. Error reporting. These are the things you can leave out, things you decide whether you want them. Microsoft Network is probably one of those things you probably can leave out. So make the updates. That's going to improve the stability of your system and the security of your system. The next thing you want to do is update your drivers. The driver software is the software that tells Windows how to interact with the hardware on your computer, everything from your mouse, your keyboard, to your printer, your net cam if you've got one, scanners. You can see what devices you have by opening the system control panel and clicking on the device manager. That's going to give you a list of all the devices in your computer. The most important one, the one you absolutely want to update, is your display adapter. This can cause more problems on a computer than any other device driver. Make sure you've got the latest. In this case, I see I have an NVIDIA GeForce DDR. So what I'm going to do is go to the NVIDIA site, which in this case is pretty easy. It's NVIDIA.com. And I'll make sure I have the latest version for that particular video card. If you bought your computer from Dell, you might go to the Dell site. And they'll actually have a list of all the drivers for your, software, uh, for your particular hardware. And that's because Dell sometimes and other companies sometimes customize this hardware for your computer. But do get the latest device drivers. I would recommend saving them onto a floppy so you have them for future. You're going to want to do the same thing for your applications as well. Take a look at what applications came installed in your computer. Microsoft Office, for instance. You're going to want to go to the website for the manufacturer and make sure you've got the latest version there. It's the same reason you update Windows, for security, for reliability. So what we've done so far is updates. We've updated Windows, we've updated our drivers, and we've updated our software. The rest of it is the fun part. That's customizing your system. 
And that's where this is going to come in handy. These are the customizations we make. Everything from a desktop uh, wallpaper to the size of the fonts to the size of the icons. It makes it much easier for us to look at this with bigger icons, especially on TV. We make them big. You might want to, too, if, if it's easier for you to read. You also, there are certain applications we recommend. We've got a list of the kind of must-have applications, starting with the very first one you should install, if it didn't come on your system, WinZip. WinZip is the program that will unzip those compressed files that you download to customize your system further. So you really do want to have a copy of WinZip on there. Make sure you install WinZip or something like it before you uh, install everything else. You will need it. So let's run through the, uh, the tips for customizing your system the Leo way. First, you want to update Windows. This is very important for security, if nothing else. Reliability and security. Update your drivers. That helps reliability a lot. It makes your computer crash less, makes it faster. And then upgrade your programs. You want to get those bugs out. Manufacturers release updates all the time. Make sure you've got the latest. Finally, make your personal computer personal. Customize it. Make it feel fit the way you work. It should feel good to you. It should feel like this is your computer. More than almost anything else in your life, you can make the computer fit you. So take some time to do that. And we put all the steps, plus some of the things that we do to our set computers, on the web. And, and, and by the way, we're going to put up an article there, which I've got to do, on, on using Norton Ghost, which is the program that we use to back these up. It's a good idea, as I said, to back up the initial installation. And once you've got it kind of the way you like it, back it up again so you don't have to go through this process again. You'll find it all at techtv.com slash call for help, including our three-page protocol. Chris Krauss loves these three pages. <laughs> it's the bane of his existence. We're going to take, he's the guy that sets up our computers.